Uh, we've got... Uh, we were going to do a Violent Nature for the podcast on Wednesday, but... Um, it's looking more likely that we're going to do a Would You Rather, like a game Would You Rather, uh, because we saw it in a violent nature. We loved it. We really want to talk about it, but we just saw it not expecting to do a podcast on, so we didn't take any notes. And we could try to do a podcast from memory, but uh, we don't like doing that. We'd, we'd rather be fully prepared and be able to cite specific things and not just like if, if we're going to talk for an hour about a movie, I want to make sure that we know everything about it. So uh, we would have to see it again. And unfortunately, it's not unfortunately, but it is only in theaters and we haven't had the time to get out to a theater to see it. So we're probably going to do Would You Rather. We've been trying to get like a screener. We have a, a connection to one of the people who made it. But like, it's hard to get a screener for a movie that's theatrical only, you know, understandably. So um, hopefully we can see it again soon, take notes and then do an episode on it because we really liked it we think that it was uh, a funny deconstruction of the genre and that it make for a very interesting conversation on the podcast uh it'll also very obviously be a kill count whenever that's available um but that probably won't be for a while but check it out on the uh check it out in theaters if you haven't and uh so yes we will have a podcast wednesday regardless probably a would you rather game and then on friday <laughs> the plan is for lisa frankenstein um th again I, this this is my time that i allot myself to complain about <laughs> things that happen to us on youtube uh because i don't want to uh, do it in too many other public facing platforms like i try not to tweet to i did just tweet about the stepfather which is Sunday's episode, our Father's Day kill count. I did tweet about that getting copyright claims because it, it went further than usual in that they were threatening a strike on the channel for the stepfather. Uh, but you know what? I don't know if my tweet is what did it, but that, that claim did get removed. We're very grateful for that. So the stepfather has been approved by YouTube, has had its copyright claim removed. That episode will for sure 100% be out on Sunday without any issues. Stepfather kill count, really can't wait. That stars Terry O'Quinn from Lost, who played uh, John Locke, and it's it's all good to go on Sunday. But Friday's episode, Lisa Frankenstein, that's running into some issues, um, both on both fronts. Because if you didn't know, we're always fighting two fronts. We've, we've got the copyright claims and then the content restrictions. And Lisa Frankenstein is running into issues with both. It's getting copyright claimed, and it's hard to deal with those while we're still dealing with the content restrictions. The content restrictions, again, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's like YouTube just does not want horror to be present on its platform in any way, shape, or form. Because, you know, initially they, they started to uh, tamp down on all the explicit gore. When I started the Kill Count in 2017, I could put whatever the fuck I wanted in these episodes. I wouldn't get... The only time I got age restricted was I remember things were so lenient back then when I covered Freddy versus Jason I left the girl's butt in when she was running down the dock I was censoring the boobs before that but I was like oh it's a butt it should be fine butts are on TV sometimes and that got age restricted and I was like fuck so uh, that was back in 2017 I blurred the butt and it was okay and those early episodes had so much gore and they were still monetized and it was pretty cool but ever since then, it's just been crackdown after crackdown after crackdown. And initially, it was like a gore thing. And they're like, oh, uh, any any heads, any removed heads, those can't be there. Any excessive blood, that can't be there. And we're like, okay, fine, I guess, whatever, we'll fix those, we'll blur those. And then, like a year or so ago, YouTube started cracking down super hard on all the self-harm and suicide stuff. Any mention of it would get age-restricted. Any... You show a, a body and a bottle of pills and you're going to get age restricted. And so that really made things difficult when it came to things like smile in which uh, people are possessed and then do that to themselves. And then that's the whole movie. So that made it really difficult. And I was like, OK, this is uh, a bigger headache and one that's fucking with our ability to tell the story of the movie. So I'm more mad than the gore that we have to censor, but we will try to find a way around it. Their latest thing that they just started a couple of months ago, man, is this bullshit, sexually explicit things involving minors, and it they're, they're slapping it on anything that has 
teenage characters, even if they're played by grown-ass adults. Lisa Frankenstein has Catherine Newton, a 26-year-old grown-ass woman, playing a high schooler because that's what you do with movies. You have adults play high schoolers, but because her character is in high school, any time that, like, she grabs his crotch at one point over the pants, age-restricted. They, they talk about using, uh, like, she has a vibrator, age-restricted. That movie is basically a PG-13 movie. It's, it's R, but with just a few minor tweaks, it could have been PG-13, and it probably would have been better for it. Uh, but, man... It, the the Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 episode was similarly just fucked. All the sexual content involving that grown-ass woman who happens to be playing a high school character just had to be censored and blurred. That's why we had... Wait, Lisa Frankenstein is PG-13? Lisa Frankenstein is PG-13? And YouTube is fucking age-restricting it? Oh my god. I can't... I can't fucking believe that. I just assumed... That because it was getting restricted, it was... Are you kidding me, dude? YouTube's age-restricting our video about a PG-13 movie? What? Oh my god. That's so fucked! That's so fucked! The MPAA! Which is the organization that if it were a person, would perpetually have a stick up its ass. Gave that movie a PG-13 and said 13 year olds and up can go fucking see it by themselves without parents. And YouTube's like, no, I don't think so. That, that high schooler is making out with a guy and that's not a fucking Christ. Wow. God damn. If I ever fucking hang it up, dude, YouTube is why. YouTube is why. Because they have just made it, they're so hostile to what we are trying to do here, which is simply celebrate film and talk about movies in the horror genre and how they're made and holy shit. I can't believe Lisa Frankenstein is a PG-13 movie and our video on it's getting age restricted. Wow. Wow. God. Damn! Okay, alright. Well, hopefully we get it out for you. God damn. <laughs> okay, uh, after Lisa Frankenstein, like I said, the stepfather on Father's Day. After that, on Friday, June 21st, is Totally Killer. Awesome movie. Check it out if you haven't. It's on Amazon Prime. It's so funny and so good. I love it. And that episode's just about done. I don't know if we'll have any issues with that. After that, on June 28th, in anticipation of Maxine coming out, we have Pearl. She's a star. Can't wait for that. That's a good one. And then... Um, should I just leave it for June? Should I tell you the July one? Yeah, sure. On Friday, July 5th, we are doing our first film. Nope. Lisa Frankenstein was 2024. Our second film from 2024. Immaculate. We all... Oh, the website. The website. You're right. Yes, we're doing Immaculate. So here's the website, what we're looking at right now. So th this is the big thing. We're going to have all the movies that we've ever covered in a list here it's going to be much uh, the pages are going to have more movies on it because i don't like that there are 40 fucking pages of movies here to look at uh but if you go to a movie let's see like bodies 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 for instance it'll show you can go uh click where to watch it and it'll take you to the uh just watch page so you can see where to watch it you can view the trailer on youtube but you can also see where we've covered it and in this case, there's a kill count and a podcast. So you can you can click those and watch those. When it's uh, age restricted, you'll have to click through to go watch it on YouTube, uh, which is unfortunate. But we did they they did strongly at, say that it needs to have its own page just for like SEO stuff. Um, but you can see here that like Child's Play. What do we got here? Other. The other video is Every Child's Play and Chucky Movie Ranked. 
This little icon mean what's your favorite scary movie? So that'll be with Liv Morgan, current world's, uh, women world champion. Congratulations to her. And then two little kill count icons because it's got the original and the recount. So it'll have those. Uh, you can also search for a movie. So if you were looking for Child's Play, and this is something that I was very adamant about is as you type, it comes up on the search engine. So, um, oh, and, and you can be like, wait a minute, Children of the Corn, there's a kill count for that? There's not, but if you click it, you'll see where we where we discussed it. And in this case, I did a uh, we did a Patreon commentary track of it. Oh, uh, this is wrong, actually, Ben. This is, uh, the, the page is saying Children of the Corn 2020, but our commentary track is actually 1980, uh, 1984. But then if you click that, because it's a Patreon link, it should go. See, this is why the website's not ready yet. Um, that should go to the Patreon post itself so that you can, uh, if you're not at that level Patreon, you can then be like, oh, but I love Children of the Corn. I want to see how they covered it. So I guess I'll sign up for Patreon to get it at that level. What else can I type? Uh, like Night. What does that bring up? Probably a bunch. Yeah, 27 results. So a whole bunch of things. And if you're scrolling and you're like, Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. This is a kill count for that? Again, it's going to be like, no, it's a Patreon commentary track. But uh, we have a list of the shows, and these have to be filled out and get their, their icons. But it shows the little icon of how it's covered. They talk. Um, so what what would there be a they talk of? Like Friday 4? Um, oh, it's weird that when I click on movies, the search isn't there. But we do have these filters. So we haven't categorized them all yet, but we're you. Let's say you're looking for a movie that you want to cover, uh, and you're like, oh, I kind of want to watch like a movie from the '80s that has like, I don't know, it's kind of sci-fi and fantasy, but also has like creatures and monsters maybe. And uh, we haven't really done the fear factor tone categorizations yet, but if you're like, oh, 1980s with like creatures, and monsters, sci-fi, fantasy. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if the nightmare films are monsters. So I don't know if those should be included, but Aliens is a perfect example of that. So yeah, it, it's it's what we're working on and then you can also for, sort it out by like, oh, but I just want to watch kill counts. I don't want to watch anything else. So like, let's see if I take off these other filters and we have um Also, I don't think there should be an apostrophe on the decades. Uh, let's see if the, like, They Talk, what movies have been covered on They Talk. <laughs> Bones and All has not been covered on They Talk. So, oh, that's because the kill count is still selected as well. So, They Talk, no movie, so we haven't sorted those yet. But, it's very much underway. We actually just hired a friend of mine to go through and, like, categorize all this data. And, uh, we're, we're constantly working on it. We're gonna have, you know, these, these playlists of, like, collections of, like, favorite movies and um what happens if you go to a collection page like 80 slashers okay so right now just nightmares in there but that's what we're working on and uh we don't know will it be updated where each movie will be currently streaming yes and that'll stay up to date because that's not something that we have to manually do there will just be this where to watch link and that'll take you to the website uh just watch which is great it tells you where you can stream the movie and where you can watch it for free, where you can watch it with ads, where you can rent or buy it. So that'll always just be updated because just watch is good. Oh yeah, you can also click more info to go down here. And eventually one day we'd like it to where like, you can click Kelly Maroney and it would take you to all the movies that feature her in them. So, uh, yep, we're working on it. Still um, clearly under construction. But that's what the website's looking like, and hopefully you can uh, see that pretty soonish. But I've got to go take care of some shit before my workout. Thanks a lot for coming in, and uh, we'll see you next week. We appreciate it. I'll see you all later. All right. Bye.